Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic which is Podman Pod. Okay, so in this tutorial we will understand what is Pod and we will also understand the concept of communication between the containers. Okay, if we are having multiple containers, then how they will communicate with each other using the pod. Okay, then we will have our lab exercise. In this lab exercise, we will create the pod. We will add two containers. One is MySQL container, another is the WordPress container inside this pod. And then we will see this communication between the containers. Okay, so let first understand what is pod. So pod, you can say it is a single unit. Okay, and in this unit, you can uh, you can attach number of containers. Okay, so uh, how pod will work? So basically, it will create uh, once you will create the pod inside the pod man. Okay, then what it will do? It will create a container which is called the infra container. Okay, and this infra container is the container which will now manage the communication between the containers. It will basically uh, control uh, the infrastructure of the pod. Okay, so this is the main container. So as soon as you will create the pod, this infra container will create automatically. After it, you can uh, create and add number of pod, no, sorry, number of containers inside this pod. And uh, once you will add these containers, okay, so means this pod is having its own uh, independent IP, okay? These containers would not have the IP after once you will add uh, these container inside the pod as well as the port, okay? You need not to um, uh, assign the port once you are creating uh, or running uh, the containers, okay? So just you need not, you just you need to assign all the ports in the at the time of creation of pod only okay i will explain everything in the details okay so as we are having our lab so as per our lab we, we are going to create a pod then we are going to create two containers here one containers we will create a mysql and another containers we will create as the wordpress okay and then wordpress will connect to the mysql internally and also we we are going to assign port 80 to the pod okay not to the wordpress okay so then we will see how it is being accessed from the outside of the world okay and then how it is interconnecting between each other uh one more thing here you can see the common box okay so common is kind of a program written in the c language it is basically um, um, uh, for the life cycle of the pod okay so by using these uh, common c program uh, the pod can be stop pod can be restarted uh, pod can be removed okay once i am saying um, start and stop so okay so once you will uh, give command uh, pod stop it means it it is going to stop all the containers okay so in that case containers a and containers b both will stop once you will execute the pod restart command both will restart okay and uh, same kind once you will remove then all uh, containers will be removed from it Okay, so let me go ahead with our labs. Okay, and inside lab, I will explain you uh, the concept of pod. So uh, this is my AWS machine. Okay, and uh, I have a podman running inside it. Let me show you the podman images. Sorry, uh, sh uh, pseudo podman images. Okay, so you can see I am having two images here. One image is from the Docker, which is for WordPress. Another is from the RHSCL, Red Hat Linux. Okay, it is for the MySQL. So I am already having these two images uh, for, for us. Now let's understand the concept of pod. Okay, so uh, if you will execute sudo podman pod command, Okay, it will give you the idea what is pod all about. Okay, so you can see pods are a group of one or more containers sharing the same network, PID and IPC namespace. Okay, that's why it is very important. And then once you have a pod, 
then these are the sub commands you can execute and in this sub commands there are start stop okay restart remove rm command okay create command okay so these are the command of the pod so let for let we execute this command one by one here so let me first create a pod okay and let me also explain you the command which i am going to execute so by using this we are creating a pod here hyphen n means the name of the pod and name of the pod i am giving as the wordpress pod and hyphen p means the port okay so you can assign number of ports here okay so suppose in your port if you are having five uh, containers inside your port and so for every container if you like and every every um, container if communicating to the outside of the world outside of this machine then you need to assign some port here okay some port binding need to be happen here okay so if that is the case then you have to provide so in our case we are using two containers inside this pod okay so one container would be the my sql and we don't want this my sql server to be accessible from the outside of world that's why i am not binding any port here for it and another we are going to use the wordpress okay wordpress is the web applications and for accessing this web application from outside of the world i am binding port 80 okay with the 80 port of this local machine okay so that's why i am giving hyphen p here so let me create this so now our pod has been created okay now how we can check our pod okay so to do this we can give command sudo podman pod list okay as um, you can see it here also okay list command so once we will execute it, it is saying that we are having this pod, okay? And this pod is in running state. And this is the infra ID, okay? And if I going to execute now uh, sudo podman ps command, it will not show anything. But once I will execute uh, PO, uh, this uh, process with the hyphen A means all command, okay then it is going to give you the details okay so the one container it has been started and it is using this image okay for this pod okay and port 80 has been bind binded okay with the local machine from this port okay and if i execute the same command using the hyphen a and hyphen p command hyphen p is also a kind of hyphen hyphen pod you can say okay so hyphen p and hyphen pod are both same so if i execute it then it will show you the name also okay so this command is also very important to understand that what all containers are the part of a pod okay i will give i will give you uh, i will explain this thing in more detail okay so let me go ahead so we have created our pod here now what we are going to do let me create our mysql container and will we will assign this mysql container to the this uh, pod okay which we have just created so let me first paste the command here then i will explain you the whole command so what this command is doing okay so we are executing we are creating and then after creating we will run execute uh, this uh, container okay we will also create and run this container so container name would be persist db and uh, hyphen d means it will run in the background and these are the environment variable we are giving okay because it is the mysql uh, server so we are creating the uh, user uh, user uh, um, uh, into the mysql server as well as we are also creating a database okay so uh, this is uh, uh, creating user user one password okay and then the database name would be items okay and uh, then the root password here this command is very very much important here okay 
this is hyphen hyphen pod okay so we are assigning this uh, um, container this mysql container to wordpress pod pod okay and uh, this is the image we are going to use uh, once we will create this container okay so by using this we are going to add and assign our container to wordpress pod okay that is the main important thing here so i am going to execute it it is running now okay now let me also start our wordpress container okay let me also same way let me also explain this command to you so it will uh, uh, first create and then run the uh, wordpress container the name would be my wordpress and environment variable i am setting here okay because now wordpress need to be connect with the mysql server okay so host i am giving is the local as a local host okay this ip means the local ip local host ip the same so because the both containers will run inside a single port that's why i have to give it as a local host okay local ip then another environment variable is the uh, user okay which db user we have created the user one same okay like this we created this user so here i we are giving user one and the password of that user and the database name items hyphen d means it will also run in background and here the important thing hyphen hyphen pod okay so we are again assigning our uh, wordpress my wordpress pod to the pod wordpress pod okay and uh, this is the docker image of wordpress so let me execute it it also has been created let me run sudo docker let me first run sudo docker ps command okay in this you can see two uh, uh, two containers only okay one is for the wordpress and another is for the mysql database okay but if you execute command with hyphen a option then you will see here three three containers okay one container is database one container is wordpress and the last container is the infra okay the infra one is the pod infra okay and then if i execute the command with minus a and uh, hyphen p option hyphen a and hyphen p option then you will get the pod information also okay so here this pod information additionally is also coming so here you can see both all these three containers okay all these three containers having the same pod id means these all three containers are grouped inside the pod now okay so as i explain you in our slide here okay so all these three uh, are inside a pod so we have grouped it like that okay so our um, all uh, applications or containers database and all are up now so let we go ahead and test whether our wordpress is working well or not okay for it we need to uh, so uh, go to aws space this is our public um, um, ipv4 dns okay so let me try to connect it okay on port 80 so because it is connecting on port 80 so we need not to put it here but let we put it as like 80 okay so yes so our uh, word uh, press is up and running okay so if we insert some values here like uh, um, okay i'm just giving some uh, dummy names here okay and let me install the wordpress okay so you can see wordpress is working very well okay so i hope you have understand this concept now okay so let me go ahead now you have seen that you have seen that 
that uh, our uh, all the containers are working well and connecting well with each other and also our pod is also accessible from the outside of the um, outside of the machines okay from the internet and also they are interconnecting with each other okay and once the request is coming to the pod then this is, uh, is request is also diverting to the uh, wordpress server also okay so these all things you have seen now so let me also show you if you are going to stop uh, the pod okay let me go ahead and stop the pod okay pod stop let me stop everything here okay so if i am going to execute it okay and le then let we if i am um, i go uh, I, if i run again this process command then you can hear then you can see that all our um, containers has been uh, stopped in the exited status okay same way i can start okay as i stop them same way i can start them as a unit okay so means all the containers will uh, work now as a unit okay all these has been stopped and now all this has been start okay you can see four seconds ago all have been started okay likewise okay one more thing i like to uh, give you some idea about okay these containers uh, once we ran command as a uh, podman uh, pod okay pseudo podman pod okay in that case all these uh, all these containers will work as a unit okay but ideally all these containers are independent okay once i am saying that all these containers are independent it means if i go ahead and stop if i want to stop only wordpress okay then i can go ahead and can only stop the uh, wordpress okay independently so if i run this then you can see okay other uh, containers are still running but only the wordpress has been executed uh, 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 stopped okay so means containers are also independent and also be a uh, part of pod and will work uh, uh, as a single unit if we uh, if we execute command as the podman pod okay otherwise they are independent so that thing i wanted to give you an idea hope you have understand this uh, concept uh, very well and this is a very very much important concept okay to be understand and uh, if we talk about the for the preparation of the exam 180 red hat exam 180 thanks everyone for watching